Hey guys, it's me, Phoenix. We are going to do a general read to see where your energy is. If you guys do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six, meaning have my back because I have yours. Rejuvenate yourself, it says. Um, and these are the messages that I'm going to pull from this deck, um, which is the Mystic uh, Forest. This is the Empathy deck. And this is a telepathic, empath empathy, empathetic type deck as well. So it says, I rejuvenate yourself. It says, know your limits and allow them to guide you. Limitations can teach you to take better care of yourself. Um, it says you have your full permission to reset and say no. So this is what you're doing. You're rejuvenating yourself. You're learning to say what you want, mean what you say. You're learning to speak your peace and do it without any uh, negativity or to uh, feeling bad about you having things, you know, you, you stay in the things that you need. And um, it says, let it be, let it be. If things don't work out the way somebody feels like, or you don't, um, what do you call it? You don't um, make somebody happy because you're rejuvenating yourself. You're taking care of yourself and you're basically speaking and setting limits and boundaries with yourself. It says, if you need to solve a problem, ask yourself, what is the simplest way to proceed? When you call forth the simplest path, it appears and vice versa. So that is what you're doing. You're letting things be. My sister always say, let go and let God. That's what you're doing. So the empathetic message that comes out when it comes to the telepathy that you need to know about and feel when it comes to you rejuvenating yourself. Let's see what comes out. Yeah, it, you know, let go and let God. That's what my sister always says. Let go and let God. So, you know, if that's what you want to say, let it go, let it flow. However it is, you're doing this for your betterment, not for anyone else. Uh, the card company, yeah, Twin Flame and Link is here. It says a bond of love grows stronger over time. So let it be like um, Aaliyah. If you make this promise to me and make it back in one piece, then you can go with your dog. Because, again, we feel... We, we spend a lot of time worrying about what could, what should, and what might be. But it says twin flames themselves contain an aspect of each other's personality. You got to understand that sometimes whenever a person doesn't really realize and see what it is that you want or the link that you guys have, you have to let it go, let it flow, you know, and that is uh, what happens when it comes to dealing with a twin flame or somebody who you feel connected to, you know, everybody says twin flame and that word is used lightly before you would never really hear that until, you know, the era of um, what we have going on, this new new generation, you know, now you hear twin flame this, you hear soulmate that, uh, this card, you know, that's this card snooping, yeah. Drive by stalking social media, psychic and tarot reading. So you're listening, they're listening, but you're rejuvenate yourself in the process. Um, intimacy, compassion coming to you into union, chemistry and missing you. Somebody is stalking you because they're missing you and you're just letting it be. Self love is here. Um, loving you, taking back control and finally being happy. You're finally at a, a point where you're observing the things that make you feel um, kind of off and you just realize that you know what I gotta let it be if it's meant for us to link up or if it's meant for us to have something then you know what it is but again this person has to be able to say what it is that they want instead of them stalking and waiting for you to make the first move and that's the reason why they're snooping uh, and not really saying what it is that they want and you're just like you know what even though I don't know why these cars don't want to come out, even though you are at a point to where, you know, you're in separation or, you know, you want intimacy. The card that fell on the floor. Okay. Is, yeah, the black hole. Attractive, unpredictable, and a secret. Yeah, at the bottom of the deck is hourglass. Lost, discarded, and reduced. You feel like you reduced yourself into being in a black hole, but the rock is here is perseverance, steadfast, and then strength and so you're proving that your strength your self-love and you've observed what a wild and wonderful life you want to have especially with your twin flame or somebody who you love dearly this was underneath the bottom of the deck which is 
um, the the let it be. It says, why focus on limitations and realism? Realism, breakthroughs and miracles require no linear explanation or method. Unexplainable and illogical magic happens every day. So you got to know that everything that's meant will happen. You just got to let it be. And if it's meant for you guys to link up, somebody will get out. This black hole energy reminds me of, it says unpredictable, but it's, it reminds me of like hermit mode, you know, secret doing things, um, you know, without letting people know or, you know, uh, going with going within and soul searching because that's what the her hermit energy is that's what this reminds me of looking at everything so this person is snooping because they can't find you this card comes in the reverse which is yeah insecure they can't find you you're not insecure anymore and yeah tired of the drama because you're tired of it and you you know time is ticking you were getting played at one point or being manipulated and there was lies and somebody using a different, you know, love as a control tactic. And you're like, nope, not anymore. Not anymore. And so that is why you're not insecure anymore. It comes in the reverse. You have to be able to be the one to keep things uh, to yourself, to not communicate with this person because you're tired of the drama. You're tired of the drama. So you're letting things be what they are. And that is what, where you are rejuvenating yourself. Oh, I thought about that. The black hole and rejuvenating yourself is you just, you know, resting and resetting and going from there. And it's easier said than done. But at some point, yeah, you're, yeah, you're tired of wearing a mask. And teddy bear comes out, um, not wearing a mask or just like, yeah, I guess masking the things or your true feelings. Yeah, it says it right here. And it says teddy bear interested in you, blooming, romance, flirting, and want to date. So you're tired of this. So now this person wants to come back around and be your teddy bear. Um, it's a song like that. Yeah, but you have this poker face on. It says take it, take it a chance, risking options, not showing your hand and gambling. You're tired of the drama. So if this person does come back, you want a ring on it. If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. Uh, many options, unconventional, one night stands, and string along. Yeah, you want a ring because you've been getting played and this person has been stringing you along. So if I was to pull this card deck i mean excuse me the bottom of what's underneath here that's what i'm saying if i was to pull which is right here i'm sitting here looking at it it says wild and wonderful observe self-love rock getting paid and putting a ring on it so getting played i meant to say and putting a ring on it so you're not going to accept anything less than that but you have to know that putting a ring on it isn't going to solve any problems you understanding and setting your boundaries the card fell down um, you understanding and setting your boundaries. Yeah, Page of Swords energy in the reverse is letting you know that, you know what, sometimes it's things that you have to really express yourself about. And, you know, um, it's people that's all talking, no action is where you have to realize that that's why you go out and you, you adventure and you, you know, go from there. And so the Page of Swords being the reverse is just letting you know that you're you're like, no, you're all talking full of action. You're not taking the action action. You have clarity. All of these cards came under, yeah. Um, King of Cups energy, yeah. Emotional maturity based on toxicity, right? Um, you have clarity that basically all of these cards in the reverse, it's like everything is based on your emotional uh, maturity or emotional control and having balance now. All of these cards come in the reverse, which is the Seven of Pentacles. Uh, yeah, so Seven of Pentacles in the reverse is just letting you know that, you know, there's no, you don't see any long term or any, it's only limited amount of success. You don't see any long term in this. Page of Cups energy just lets you know that when it comes to emotional maturity, right, in the reverse and insecurity um, and disappointment is here. So these energies are the same. The Page of Cups in the reverse, just as in the reverse, um, normally it's you doing the right thing, but it being in the reverse is just letting you know that sometimes you have to be able to make a decision to, you know, say, no, there is no actions being had. And so with the nine of pentacles energy, there's no rewards for me either in this situation. And that all comes with you understanding the four swords, um, four swords and the upright is rest and relaxation. But in the reverse, the four swords is exhausted. You burnt out and you know what you're contemplating things. And so when it comes to dealing with the eight of pentacles, you're not working on the situation. You're not going to be exhausted. None of these situations. And you're just tired of being gaslight, hidden true feelings, pretending and deluding and gaslight and person per, uh, personify, it says. But you're tired of that. You want to be loved. And that is how I see that energy. 
Oh, I was gonna say, where's my other card deck? It's right here, my tarot deck. Yeah, you want to be loved, and so an emotional having emotional control is where you're just like, no, um, I'm not insecure. I don't feel insecure about a situation. I am. I have rejuvenated myself. Um, two of uh, pinnacles and the um. Oh, the tower. I was gonna say my cards are in reverse. No, they're not. The tower is out, and so yeah, the tower is you um, tearing down the limited structures. It says sometimes you have to tear down the limited structures you have built for yourself to rebuild better, stronger, and wiser. That's what the tower energy is, and that's a decision that you have to make. Two of Pentacles, two years. You've been trying to make these decisions about um, eight years. You've been dealing with this situation. Um, we have the Eight of Pentacles, and we have the uh, nine of pentacles and we have the seven of pentacles so um i would say like two years ago after dealing with this situation for almost close to nine years you're just like no and if it's not close to nine years something about nine years eight years and seven years is here um also the two years uh, two year mark so you know you could be dealing with you know getting close to trying to make a decision for two years you know and looking at it in ninth in the ninth year where am I going to be in my ninth year dealing with this situation? Because, again, the Eight of Pentacles is you finally deciding to work on yourself eight years. So, again, you could have been contemplating for two years, which means uh, eight minus two is six. So six years, which is the Nine of Pentacles being here and the doo -doo -doo, Seven of Pentacles planting the seeds, you're not – you weren't doing anything at these points. And so the Five of Swords is having the insight and knowledge to know what's causing you sadness. Um, actually it's not, I'm sorry, that's the five of cups, but this is an unwinnable situation, uh, ego, five of, um, swords energy, you know, you have to be the one to be able to say, Hey, listen, this is very, this is a lot of conflict. This is a lot of disagreements. This is me feeling defeated. This is it's somebody winning at all costs. And you know what? I want to be the one that win at all costs. And then we have the nine of pentacles. So now once you decide to have emotional, um, control, then you're deciding nine years down the line that you're going to win. You're going to have your rewards. You're going to have everything that you need in order for you to be able to get out of this um, financial, mental, spiritual, emotional lack. And that is so that you can have financial independence and be living your best life. You know, I ain't going back and forth with you. You know what I mean? And that is the six of wands, uh, excuse me, the five of wands, because there was conflict here at one point, conflict, but now there's growth. And there is also uh, the Page of Pentacles, somebody doing the work um, because the Four of Swords, you sat back, you had to rest, relax. Same thing, rejuvenate yourself in order for you to be um, the Queen of Cups energy and that is emotionally in control of yourself. And the Queen of Cups energy is somebody who's very compassionate, calm, and very comforting, but you wanted to be that but not have uh, all those burdens and to be able to be victorious. And so when it comes to the Ada, um wands energy you're communicating that about i'm not going through anxiety anymore or overthinking any types of situation because seven of pentacles i planted the seed i'm flourishing right now and not right now but moving forward and when i moved when i walked away it was me walking away for a reason uh the knight of wands energy now i'm in my drake energy uh, you only live once be bold be fearless do what you love and that all comes with the cost of you understanding how to have emotional um, control and also uh, being able to have your cake and eating it too but it all comes with a test and you know feeling um, insecure and feeling like you have to rejuvenate yourself but it had to do with the twin flame energy I'm going to pull from the emotions deck and then I'll pull from the um, I don't know what it's called but I'll tell you in a minute but yeah you had to um, be able to make yeah so oh this card turned turned over so the queen of uh the queen, the queen card, which it says love or hate is in the reverse. You know what? You are just like feeling mutual about this. Um, not mutual. You're feeling like it's, that's just it. Like I'm, I'm okay with this. And it says love or hate. Ask me anything. You're not in a situation to where you're ready to ask, answer or ask anything right now. You're respecting yourself, your feelings right here. And we keep having feelings out here and it says if you respect someone if you respect someone what does this mean to you this came out before and then it says hate when did you last feel hate and why and so this is why the universe is saying that this type of energy can make you can make or break you and it can 
make you feel some type of way. And that's where you have to really kind of look back at it, rejuvenate yourself and say, I'm letting this control me and going from here. This is about love. I don't know what the name of the card deck is, but this is about love. You have to realize that at some point you have to be the one to, yeah, uh, understand that this is cheating, broken trust. Somebody broke your trust and you can't deal with this anymore. And yeah, competition. Uh, the other woman, you're not going through any type of situation to where you're going to hate another woman or another person behind somebody else's actions. And the signs are here. And that means meaning. So you, you paid attention to the signs and synchronicities. You understand why you need to rejuvenate yourself. And you understand that loving um, a person who broke your trust is why you have to understand what respect means for you. And so that's kind of how I see this energy. I'm going to go ahead and pull from the Twin Flame Soulmate and um, Karmic Partner to see what comes out. But yeah, this Twin Flame energy is just like, no, you know, you're going to let it be. If it's meant, if this is your Twin Flame, then they'll come back to you manifesting. And then we have availability. So, uh, or so-called love is underneath there. So, yeah, it's okay. So I'm going to read to you. This is the bottom of the deck. But I'm going to read to you everything that's underneath the bottom of the deck. Again, wild and wonderful, observe, self-love, rock, get in play, put a ring on it, the devil energy and signs and meanings. And we have the five of wands energy, which is conflict. And we have respect. It's here. You're feeling. Can you describe different types of respect? And then we have so-called love. And I'll read that just so it's right because it's right here. It says this connection is so intense. It's almost it almost feels real. You cling to their good qualities. Let me I'm reading it over there. You cling to your good their good qualities and avoid seeing the negative. It is is it love you're feeling or addiction? And that's where the again devil energy comes out at because again this is karmic energy. So called love is karmic energy and the availability at the bottom of the deck it says there will be so much support in this relationship. Everything ringing ranging from emotional support to basic needs that's the new relationships that are coming out i believe when it comes to availability or it could be you after you rejuvenate yourself manifesting practice the law of attraction and become aware of your thoughts because you're in, you're interacting with a conscious universe and so you're learning how to manifest the things that you want by rejuvenating yourself and looking at the obvious of what it is you're attracting things but it's not you um, keeping secrets it's just you understanding that people are unpredictable but when you deal with yourself and un understand how you feel you'll understand what a teddy bear is to you so the availability is what you want is somebody that's a teddy bear interested in you blooming romance flirting wanting to date and also that is going to tell you their true feelings and not be insecure about anything moving forward if that makes sense and so that's kind of how I see that I'm going to pull from the true emotions deck to see what comes out um yeah so that is the thing you are understanding that it's not about you know what somebody else is doing it's about how they made you feel and yeah even though they miss you and they're ashamed guilt embarrassed and in the wrong uh in the wrong this person may feel this way and they might miss you but you understand what their availability was to you and you are always competing with someone else and again the firestorms tower energy karma drama ending slash lost mental breakdown yeah this caused you to have a mental breakdown so you observed what it feels like and now you're letting it be and if it's meant it's meant but the bond that you have um linking up with other people that are your like kind by after you rejuvenate yourself is the reason why you're going to come out on top and it's because somebody broke your trust and so that makes sense rejuvenating yourself because of broken trust so Respect yourself, manifest the things that you want, and go from there. I'm going to pull from the crystal deck if you want to know my perspective of the price of light, my perspective and my interpretation of the crystals, and then also from the four agreements, uh, which is actually the five agreements. Then um, click the links up above. I'll, I'll post them. Um, it says the pilot site is the heart chakra. Again, send in strength and healing no matter what. No man is your enemy. No man is your friend. Every man is your teacher person place thing or situation was here to teach you a lesson a lesson and that is about the signs of love and the meanings um and so real love not just toxic love right so it says self self acceptance growth growth and comfort self acceptance growth and comfort and then we have at the bottom of the uh, bottom of the card 
affirmations. The healing energy of the universe flows through me and into the earth. The healing energy of the universe flows through me and into the earth. So you are, maybe that's where this black hole energy is coming out at, but rejuvenating yourself. And it says, don't make assumptions. Uh, communicate with clarity. And that's what you're doing. That's what you're doing moving forward because you're tired of the drama. It says, communicate with others as clearly as you can to avoid misunderstanding, sadness, and drama. If all humans could communicate with impeccability of the word, all of the relationships would change. There will be no wars, no violence, and no misunderstandings. So that's basically what you want is no more misunderstandings when it comes to dealing with this type of energy. You're just tired of the drama and you're moving forward. You're, you know, they might be ashamed. You're you are embarrassed, but they might be ashamed. But after you rejuvenate yourself, you'll realize and understand that twin flame is more deeper than anything else. And you have to learn yourself before you can learn anyone else. So let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.